Good evening and welcome to the December 2014 edition of Curriculum Connection. I'm Medford's Curriculum Director, Laura Lundy. Tonight, we will see how Medford's Rural Virtual Academy is blazing a trail for education. Personalized online learning. The standing criticism of education is that if Rip Van Winkle woke up today and went into a school building, he would not realize that he had been asleep for 100 years because schools have not changed much. Kids still sit in desks, lined up in rows, taking notes from teachers who lecture. This is not the case for Medford's virtual school, the RVA. Teachers in the RVA have been successfully personalized learning for almost 10 years. This year, the RVA expanded to the high school level, offering ninth grade. RVA Dean of Operations, Sarah Holowinski, says that the need was there to expand. This year, um, we just opened it up to ninth graders, and we wanted to start small and, and make sure that it worked before we um, grew the program. Um, th we decided this year to start it because we had a large group of 8th graders last year that were looking for um, a high school option for a ninth grade option, so it was a good year to, to do it. RVA High School is a little different than the elementary and middle school version. In the elementary program, the students rely on their home mentor a lot and they don't have that direct instruction on a daily basis. And going into high school, we wanted to make, make sure that the students had a teacher available to them every day of the week to teach the, the subjects to them. So um, using Blackboard and the WVS content, um, the, the courses through Wisconsin Virtual Schools, um, we were able to do that. Technology advances now allow teachers and students to meet virtually and in real time to listen to lessons and interact with the teacher and other students. Blackboard is an online program that allows the student and the teachers to interact with each other. So there's um, a video, there's audio, and there's a whiteboard that we can put a PowerPoint or um, put work up on to go over with the students. Ninth grade RVA students take the same kinds of courses as students in a brick and mortar school. Dalton Wires, a ninth grade RVA student, says that he likes the flexibility that the RVA high school provides for him. I'd like to say that it's a fun program. They have a lot of fun activities. They give you a lot of time to really get your work done, even if you fall behind. They help you out a lot, and I think that's really awesome. Um, also, the people in the program are very nice. I mean, all the teachers, all of them have been really kind to me. As the Medford School enters the informational age and away from an industrial age, instruction will look different. RVA students are not the only ones that receive customized and personalized learning. With blended classrooms, Medford's 8th grade algebra students also get a taste of online learning. I have what's called a blended class. Blended in the way we use it is we have students in the classroom and then students tuning in virtually. Um, not all the classes are like that. Some of the classes just have RVA students in them and others are blended. Medford Middle School students really like the independence and added responsibility of the online algebra course. A lot more of responsibility because there's not, there's not always a teacher like watching over your back when you're doing, you know, what you're working. You're still learning like the basics, but you're just learning it in a different way. Well, you're doing the same type of math, except you kind of can go on your own pace. And then you don't have to be here at school, too, to do it. So. Although the students liked the algebra class online, they were hesitant to completely go online for all of their classes. Like reading online, I don't really like to do. Like and having a book is good, and but on other things, it's fun to do online, like math and maybe some social studies would be fun. Like science, I don't know, like the experiments, you can't really do experimental in a computer lab. Although 8th graders had a hard time picturing science and FIAD online, these classes are currently being taught online to RVA students. Jessica Hanel, FIAD teacher for RVA and the Medford Middle School, explains. We run a physical fundamentals course, it's called, through the Wisconsin Virtual School. And students do curriculum, they have lessons, they take quizzes, they send in assignments. But in addition to that, they are assigned a polar heart rate monitor watch. Each student receives one of these watches and they have minimum requirements for activity that they have to do each week and then they take this information and enter it onto a log. So they do have to submit a weekly fitness log. In the 10 years that RVA has been in existence, many charter and virtual schools have come and gone. According to RVA principal Charlie Heckel, there are two main reasons RVA remains strong 
and serves over 230 students. Uh, we prefer to grow slow, we prefer to keep our quality high, uh, and then we also prefer to work with other school districts. So we partner now with um, 13 different school districts in the state of Wisconsin in consortium with them, um, and that's also helped us uh, to grow. I would say that a lot of different school districts and states are doing online learning, but the way we have it structured is different because we're unique in the fact that we have direct instruction on a daily basis. So our kids aren't just given the course content and asked to do it on their own. They actually have um, peers to work with and teachers to, to guide them. Even though the technology has advanced quickly and has improved the quality of online teaching, rural areas such as Medford still has challenges to overcome. Uh, internet connection gets really bad on our side. We're trying to find a new internet that will work out well, but haven't yet. The only part I don't like is if you don't have good internet. My internet kind of shuts me off sometimes. So we have like a time zone chart at my place because it shuts off, turns on. So sometimes it works, but then I just do it all in a big brush at one time. One major benefit of the RVA and blended classrooms is that they are unaffected by snow days or teacher-student absences. Ms. Holowinski reports that in November, when the weather caused students to stay home for the day, many of her students still worked on math. She held open online office hours, allowing her students to log on and get extra help. Also, while attending an online conference in California this fall, Ms. Holowinski still held class as usual. Learn like anywhere like Ms. Holowinski taught us from California a week once, so it was pretty cool. And so it's not like you're restricted to a classroom, you can be pretty much anywhere. With the middle school students, I, I think it's a great opportunity for them to experience what an online course is like. At some point in their future, whether it's in high school, in college, or professional development for their jobs, they're going to be taking an online course. So to have that experience in middle school is just awesome. The RVA has set a course for our brick and mortar schools to follow. In the near future, I predict that teachers will continue to move away from one-size-fits-all lessons to customized lessons, all with the help of technology like one-to-one -one computers, sites like Blackboard, and online courses based on learner outcomes. So that in the next 10 years, if Rip Van Winkle wakes up and walks into the Medford School District, he will be surprised at what he sees. For Curriculum Connection, I'm Laura Lundy.